Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome. Thanks for joining us today on another episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. And today I'm going to show you my five top sites and applications to run alongside of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, and these are going to be my top five. So if you're just beginning, these are like a must have. Uh, so stick around and stay tuned because we're going to talk about some ones that you don't want to miss out on. And the first one we're going to talk about here today, and I got a question on it already, uh, was Little Nav Map. And this is a great tool. So if you want to either do a flight plan or, heck, you can even track your plane as, it's, as you're flying on Microsoft Flight Simulator, you can program out your uh, flight altitude right here. It'll tell you how high the terrain is in that area. Uh, it has a lot of great information. You can have approach plates on the side. Uh, you can pick different airports. It'll show you the different nav aids. Uh, and then most of all, it can put out the entire flight plan. I created a flight plan here for us today. Uh, it has the entire flight plan all laid out, what we're going to be following, uh, the frequencies, the courses, the times, everything. The other cool thing is you can even put the aircraft you're flying in here, folks. So you can go down. If you want to fly in the CRJ today, you hit CRJ, and then, boop, there you go. You get information on the CRJ. If you want to go to the TBM today, you hit that, and you'll go to the TBM today. All right. Um, so if the flight plan that you program in here, just like I have, it, it says that it cannot calculate the fuel report. Flight plan has unflyable legs where headwind is larger than the cruise speed. Okay, so I just think I didn't have the altitude high enough. Uh, so if we go to aircraft and open, I pulled up uh, Airbus A320NX. Uh, it pulls up the entire fuel report for that, tells you the block fuel. This is pretty cool because then you can verify this information with one of the other tools that we're going to talk about, uh, which is SimBrief. Uh, but this will give you all that information as well, the current performance, and then you can print this out. You can go right up here, go down to print flight plan, and then pick which parts of the flight plan that you want to print out, and it'll print all that out for you. At the bottom, I've got it set up so you can actually see where we take off our top of climb, uh, the different waypoints we're going to hit, and then as we're coming down. The other cool part is if you want to see, say there's a real high part in this uh, elevation, you just don't know where it is. If you watch my mouse scroll at the bottom, you'll also see a little blue thing, blue circle going up and down here. So you can actually pinpoint an exact area of where you could have some difficulty uh, or just an area that you may want to go sightsee around. So that's pretty cool. Now, I'm not going to go into everything on how to use this because this is very powerful and the actual creator of this program has many YouTubes out already. So I'll let him uh, explain a little bit better. And that creator is over here on Alex, uh, Alex's projects. And uh, basically the, the first thing we're, which you want to do is go to Google here, type in little nav map. And then the first thing that comes up is Alex projects, hit releases and downloads. Uh, you're going to click on the Windows little nav map zip here if you have a Windows, if you're Mac or Linux. So you're going to click that and it will then bring it down into a folder for you. I have it come right here. Uh, when you extract that, you're going to then be left with a folder here. Take this entire folder and put it on your desktop because this is going to be a standalone program. You'll double click into it, double click again and you can go right down to the application. You'll double click that application and it will fire right up for you. The other thing you can do is right click on that and then you can pin this right to the start bar at the bottom here. So this way you don't have to worry about it. It's right there or hit create shortcut and put a shortcut on your desktop. And this way uh, it uh, it's right there for you. Now, I also recommend because it will give you your fuel information for your the plane that you're flying for that flight that day, uh, you need to also get the airplane information. So I also suggest that you create another folder, right click uh, on your desktop, click new, 
create a folder and put it right next to the little nav map and name it aircraft performance information. Then at the top of this page, you'll go to Alex's projects and you'll go right down here to download aircraft performance profiles and more aircraft performance. And then we're flying with Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're going to click on that. And these are all the different performance profiles. You can download every single one that you're going to be using and drop it and put in that folder that you put right next to the little nav map called your air, airplane performance profiles. And then as soon as you open up your little nav map and you're making your flight plan for that day and you go to aircraft and you hit open performance, you can then click and pick the plane that you're going to be using that day. So uh, it's very good, very useful. And we're going to move on to number two. So if you're flying in the U.S., then this next, uh, I will say, this next website is going to be right up your alley. So the website is called Sky Vector, and it's predominantly made uh, just for U.S. flyers. And any bit of information uh, that you want to get from an airport, uh, as long with the approach information, all you have to do is right-click on any of these little green dots and then hover right over the... Uh, hover right over the airport, and then it can give you all that same information. So you can get an airport diagram, you can get your ILS approach plates, you can get departures, arrivals, so you can get pretty much anything on this uh, that you need. So uh, say for instance, this one right here has your airport diagram. So if you're gonna be taxiing around the airport, you really need to have an airport diagram, you can print that out. And then you can also, uh, if you're inbound on approach, uh, you can pull up the ILS for that runway. And then uh, have all the information, have um, all of your, your step-down levels, have your uh, initial fix, have your final approach fix, have your localizer frequencies. Uh, it pretty much has everything for you, tower, ground. Uh, and then it even has, if you're going to be using a watch or a stopwatch, to time yourself as you're coming in, uh, say if you're in a Cessna 152 or something, has that information right down here. Um, has all your minimums right in here. So if this is a, a great piece of information uh, for doing flight planning. By the way, you can also do a flight plan in this. Uh, I did a quick flight plan A, B to C here, and uh, you can pretty much put your flight plan in and see the route that you're going to take. Do not click briefing and filing. So don't click that because that's for if you're really going to be flying a plane. Uh, but the other thing is you can come up here after you punch in your departure and destination and just hover over it and then you can pull up all the information uh, for that airport as well. Then just click on one of them and it'll pop up the information for you. You can print this out, have it handy next to you while you're flying on in. All right, but if you're someone not in the U.S. and you want to explore uh, more places around the globe, and that's what Microsoft Flight Simulator really allows us to do, is go all different areas where we normally can't go, then the next site that you're going to really want to use is ChartFox. So if you uh, open up the ChartFox here, first thing you're going to need to do uh, when you load this uh, website in, so it's, it's pretty, there's nothing to download, you go to chartfox.com, org and then you log in with your VATSIM account. If you don't have a VATSIM account, it's free. You go on there, it takes like two minutes and then boom, you get all the perks for having a VATSIM account. And one of those perks is ChartFox. Now you're gonna say, what does ChartFox give me? What can it do? So ChartFox pretty much does the exact same thing that SkyVector does, only for everywhere around the globe. Uh, so you can just go ahead and pick on what what airport uh, you need to fly into. And mind you, you can also use little nav map for this as well. But uh, so say we right click on that and we hover over, it doesn't give us any information. So what we need to do then is go and type in UUBW in the chart fox here, UUBW, and then hit load. Now, when we load this information, a couple things that are gonna happen, you're gonna have any saved uh, information or charts right up here at the dock. And then the information for the airport that you just punched in is going to be right here. So our general information, taxi information, uh, and then all the way from your SID, your stars, the approaches. So if we open up the taxi information, uh, we're just going to click on this right here and see what it gives us over here. 
Okay, so uh, we clicked on uh, this one right here, which is ground movement and aircraft parking chart. So if you're going to be taxiing around the runway or need to know where to park, this is a great and handy little chart to have. Now, if you're going to go to your SID, then it is going to give you all your standard departure uh, charts. So if we click on this one right here, this is uh, for runway 12. This is going to bring up your departure chart for runway 12. It's also going to have all of your information again, your frequencies, um, all your all your different altitude levels, your star, very same thing on your arrivals. So if we click on here on runway 12, then it's going to bring up all the information that you're going to need for your arrival. And same thing with your approach in the runway 12. This will be an RNAV approach. Um, the, again, these charts are very helpful. Uh, it's going to have all the information that you need, your missed approach fix, your frequencies again, and then different altitude restrictions uh, for mountains or whatever. Uh, so again, this is a very good uh, website to use, ChartFox. So if you're uh, flying somewhere not in the U.S., go ahead and check it out. So the next uh, program that we're going to use, and this is also going to be a website, which is going to be SimBrief. So once you get into a little more advanced flying and you want to do more IFR flights and you really want to, to embrace what IFR really means and, and does, uh, and that is keep all the air traffic that's up, upstairs that we look up and see every day, what keeps them in check so that they're not running into each other. And uh, this tool right here really makes it easy for us to create an IFR flight anywhere around the world. So if you just click on new flight, then it will go ahead and open up a window for you. Uh, you can go ahead. The, the one thing that you always want to make sure of, if you're a U.S. Uh, user, then make sure you change this to pounds. Otherwise, leave it to kilograms. Otherwise, it's going to mess you up once you get to the next stage of this. And the same thing, you can go ahead and put your departure in here, and then you can go hit an arrival. And then, uh, same thing, you would go and come down and find your airframe that you're going to use for that. We'll say it's a Cessna. It's already going to have all the flight information for the Cessna in the cloud, so you don't have to download any additional information. You can pick a departure and arrival runway. It's going to pick what is really being in use right use right now. Uh, you can add extra fuel on board. Then you can even come down here to the bottom and see the route that it picked for you. It's going to have a couple different options that you can then uh, pick. If you decide, hey, I want to fly that route, I want to get a little bit uh, more scenic route, and I want to go across the water, go ahead and do that. Once you hit generate, uh, it will go for a couple seconds and then pull up an entire flight plan for you. And this flight plan is also exportable to Flight Sim, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And uh, you can upload this right on your uh, main screen when you're picking uh, your plane and you're picking where you want to go. So this has all your flight information on it. You can come down. It, it's got a bunch of different information in here that you're going to use uh, for planning an IFR flight. Uh, but the most important thing is right down here at the bottom, uh, you can go to Flight Simulator 2020 and hit download. Once you hit download, it'll download that right to wherever you download all of your files. Uh, and then you can then, when you open up Microsoft Flight Simulator and you're planning your flight, you got the bottom, you can click load, pull this flight plan in, and bada bing, bada boom, your flight plan is now loaded into Microsoft Flight Simulator. So it's a very handy tool, and um, I suggest if you want to start doing some IFR flights, go ahead and try it out. The very last uh, website that I'm going to recommend that everybody should get a account on uh, the accounts are free, but flightsim.to has all different add-ons, uh, liveries, sceneries, aircraft, performance mods, applications, all different kinds of stuff. It is crazy what it has, but not only does it have all that, it will track it for you. So if you have something that you've downloaded, these are all of my different mods that I've downloaded. But the, the biggest part of this is if you go to my downloads, and maybe a lot of people may not know this, it's going to pull up 
either liveries or whatever downloads that you have that have updates to them and you don't know and you don't want to have to go scroll through 5,000 different liveries and sceneries to see what you need to update. This will bring it right up top here and say, hey, there's an update for this. You can go right to download and download the update and that'll go away. So it will constantly remind you of what you need. But you have to have an account. The account is free. It only takes a couple seconds to do and I highly recommend it. So I want to thank everybody for joining us today. If you like the content, please hit that like, subscribe, and tick that little bell. It really helps out our channel and lets us know that you like to see videos like this. And it'll let you know that we've posted a new video like this in the future. So thanks again for watching 2020 Flight Simmers. And as always, keep the blue side up. We'll see you on the next one.